welcome. I'm Russ Rogers and today we're going to learn a fun and easy to play rock bass line in the style of Bruce Springsteen. If you like this one be sure and also check out my rock bass line series. We will first go through the line note by note to get the fingering and countdown. Then practice a bass line with a slow tempo track to get comfortable with the part. The next thing will be to practice a line with, at a performance tempo like you play it with a real band. Alright get your bass out and tuned up and we'll get started. If you need help with setting up your bass with your amp or tuning up, check out my free and premium videos on these subjects. Let's look at the fingering and count for measures one and two. All right, in measure one, our first two notes, first three notes, are going to be E's, open E's. And then we're going to slide the third finger into the fourth fret on the E string. Just slide it over that third fret to get kind of a little zing to it. And then our last note of measure one will be a first finger second fret note on the A string. All right, the first note in measure, or the first two notes in measure two will be a third finger fourth fret notes on the uh, A string. Going to a first finger second fret note on the A string. Back to a fourth finger third fret note on the A back to a first finger second fret note on the A and then winding up our last note in measure two with a third finger fourth fret note on the E string. Okay measures one and two slowly with the count. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four E and a. Uh. Now for measures three and four. All right, measures three and four will be just like measures one and two. So let's just do these slowly with a count. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four E and a. Uh. Time for measures five and six. All right, our first two notes of measure five will be open A's. And then we're going to slide that uh, third finger into that fourth fret uh, on the E string like we did in uh, measures uh, one and three. Then back to an open A. Then to a third finger fourth fret note on the A string. All right, that'll take us into measure six, which will have a first finger second fret note on the A string. And then we're going to slide that third finger into the fourth fret of the G string. Again, just slide it over that third fret. And then we're going to go to a first finger second fret note on the G. To a third finger fourth fret note on the D. To a first finger second fret note on the D. To a third finger fourth fret note on the A. And then wind up measure six with a first finger second fret note on the A string. All right, let's do five and six slowly with the count. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three E and a uh, four E and a. Uh. Let's finish up with measures seven and eight. Okay, our first two notes in measure seven are going to be open E's again. And then once again slide that third finger into the fourth fret of the E string. Going to a first finger second fret note on the A. To a third finger fourth fret note on the A. Now measure eight we're going to two uh, first finger second fret notes on the D string. And then slide uh, the third finger into the fourth fret note of the A string going to a first finger second fret note of the A string and then winding up with a third finger fourth fret note on the E. All right, measure seven and eight slowly with the count. Three and four 
and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, let's do the whole thing all the way through slowly with the count. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one okay let's practice a line with a slow tempo track Now let's do it with a performance tempo track. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed learning and playing this bass line. Please don't forget to check out my other free and premium videos for more fun stuff to learn and play. I'm Russ Rogers and I'll see you next time.